We are in the round of eight. It's once again a GSL style group. Yesterday it was Lin and 120 advancing over Foggy and Fortitude. Foggy with a good performance, uh, with a with a decent performance. Fortitude was the one surprising us quite a bit. But today this is a little more hype, isn't it? We start with Russia versus Korea, Happy versus Sock. It is Undead versus Human, of course. And with that, Happy seems to be unbeatable at the moment. The last time Sock won a map against Happy is uh, one and a half years ago. So, what's it gonna be? We are on Netties, of course. This is a little bit of an advantage for Sock in that regard. And I'm already a little bit surprised because this is not a Lich. Happy opening with DK ghouls instead of uh, Lich ghouls. But we're also on Concealed Hill in our best of three, which means that this is incredibly, incredibly hard to creep. Happy takes a sidestep here, though. It's not harassing the camp immediately. And Sock goes for orange to expansion. I would say that this is pretty fast. And Sock is, at the moment, definitely the best human in the world. Sends all the hurt militia back. That doesn't mean that he's not expanding. He just wants to keep him safe from the ghouls. And this retreat seems to be impeccable. Needs to start running a little more. Turns around, uses the footman as a shield. You can't prevent all the peasant kills. Calls new militia. So far, the rhythm seems really good for Sock, who is coming from the victory in WSB, the Warcraft Survival Battle uh, Korean tournament. Uh, one of the very, very few tournaments that the human won in 2022. And with that, Happy walks into no man's land. We saw it yesterday by 1-2-0 versus Fortitude, exactly this situation, and afterwards the game was pretty much done. Not the case here. Absolutely not the case here. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do the add pre-rolls. Sorry about that. I will take better care afterwards. So with Water Elemental, and a couple of footmen. You can do some damage to ghouls. A couple of skeletons here, but... Oh, did he bring a new row of necromancy? Still has three charges left. Expo not up yet. Power build not fully done. Little bit of an oversight. And this is still an opening for Happy to do critical damage. Next round of Militia. That's number three for Sock. Goes, of course, heavy into Lumber. And with that will be a later tech once this Expo is done. So, what's the target? Of course, Peasant. Number one, down. Number two, about to fall. Number three as well. Happy, crazy damage. Level two and a half with that. Not too many denies, actually. And very slow building progression on that Town Hall. He was able to defend 3k now with half HP, but that's the beauty of Concealed Hill. Not only is the creep spot super duper hard for a human, but the DK can also use the nighttime heal up and come back again. Angry Nun, thank you for the tier one sub. And so the pressure continues. Split ghouls, still coils available. Expo still not up. And maybe it's questionable that Sock didn't go for a tower first to help him against these skeletons here. Level 3 from just two creep spots and rest is peasant. The farming simulator speedrun once again. Happy text to tier 3 immediately. Usually uh, uh, against human you tend to stay on tier 2 longer for that bigger push. But not here. Not happy. You see the ghoul build. It's viable in every single matchup now. And this expansion is still not up. This is usually the time where you want to tech. More peasants down. Oh my god. It felt so good at the very beginning. Happy also blocking the peasant from preventing it to do the last couple of hammer uh, shots. Hammer, whatever. To finish this. Finally. Finally. But Sox is going for the counter aggression. He reached level 3 as well. It's not that Happy is accomplishing all of this for nothing trying to haunt ghouls down when they are hurt but they already regen quite a bit on blight and for the slaughterhouse he was a tiny bit too late lich is out the next round of pressure is coming socks way and 
It's really not looking too good. I'm really, really curious why human let concealed hill through. I don't understand it. I really don't. Another Nova is locked and loaded, but he's out of range. Good retreat. More pressure here. If he's able to take the Tomb of Relics, that prevents the second statue and maybe the Destroyer upgrade down the road. But I don't think the damage is enough, not without an Archmage. Footmen are causing some trouble, but it's also a feast for the Lich. Asok is at 7 minute 30, still on tier 1. And this is a little bit of damage here, but all controllable. No coil anymore. Oh, wait a minute. He's not committing the Acolytes to the repair. That is the Tomb of Relics, and Happy didn't start rebuilding it. This is a big win for Sock, and a lot of time. As I said, statues require the shop. Archmage trying to save his friends here with the Town Portal out, maybe. Pure aggression early on. Footman blocking the way, Water Elemental doing even more damage. There is another one. Sacrificing all the footmen, but it is time. It's time for the expansion to pay off, and Sock is trying his dearest to hang on to his life. More footmen falling. Ooh, this was quite a massacre. No defend, of course, as there are no fiends. And then footmen are rather weak against ghouls. That is another upside to the ghoul build. We have a tower up. We have this expo up. We have the tech running. We have a decent lumber economy. So can you salvage this game somehow and happy with that delay on statues? Is he opting for a counter expansion maybe? Oh, so many corpses. 7600 gold for happy. It was quite a bit of mining time too. And the orb delayed. I think this is necessary. Not to this extent. And this would have been even worse if the Archmage was able to stay around and not being pressured by Coil Nova. But I think you have to use your footman that way. Try to go for the counter offensive as early as possible. And putting pressure on statues as well. Not too bad. There's still a handful of footmen. Archmage level 4. But he needs this tier 2. He needs to buy time somehow. Happy only at 27 supply. It's not that a big ghoul push or a big destroyer push is coming. Sock certainly did his homework. He's coming prepared. He's coming with a game plan. And happy. Old school with the pit lord. And Sock is trying to look for reinforcements. Trying to snipe some ghouls. Trying to snipe the statues. Destroyer upgrade. Not even started. This is just DK Lich pit lord. And how powerful is a pit lord push if you don't have fiends? Frost armor as well, so no dark ritual. This is not an ideal happy early late game. But still, it's obvious. Socks hanging on to dear life. Would have loved to see maybe a double racks with rifles. He's roaming around trying to find his opponent. Not possible. Mountain King second. What's the play? He could go Griffin Aviaries. A player's forces are under attack. How fast is tier 3? Workshop first. Has to get some anti-air, of course. We saw Fortitude yesterday also going into Workshop. Wait, was that cancelled? Looks like it. Suck is having second thoughts. Tier 3 tech. Okay, feels like he doesn't need the instant anti-air. And Happy doesn't have the forces to put pressure on this expansion. And the gold advantage is clearly stacking up for Sock. Can Happy overwhelm with an expansion? This is one of the better human versus undead games in recent history, I want to say. And in the end, this counter pressure with Footman, it all paid off. Not saying that he's in a leading position or a dominant position, but he's competing. Helm of Valor also. Well, it's decent for the Pit Lord, I guess, but that's it. And another statue pressured into an abomina uh, abomination morph. That would be something, eh? Destroyer morph. 
Uh oh, Mountain King. You just got out. Look at this block. 150 MS. Mountain King blocked to death. He will be back in no time. Sock is going for double aviary. As there are no fiends. Maybe it's the logical choice. Happy doesn't see it coming yet. But it's still... It's slowly but steady getting stressful and dangerous. So many towers though. With Rain of Fire, you can take care of a lot of workers and towers rather quickly. But this should still buy time. It's Sock going into Dragonhawks immediately. To have that necessary anti-air! Oh my god, that Rain of Fire. That second one combined with Nova. So sick. And the Mountain King once again on the menu. What a poor, poor, poor life. He spent more time in the altar than on the battlefield. Happy lost 12 supply already though. There's not a single worker here anymore. Down to one base. One base income. Sapper counterplay. Sock willing to pull happy home but he sees the sapper coming immediately blocked with the ghoul attacked with the ghoul attacked with the towers as well so that base wiped out but he can't go for the castle doesn't really matter sock sees without a second base he has no chance and happy takes game number one after 13 minutes too big of an investment probably after that sapper play didn't connect and happy takes it home but Sock is, uh, Sock is playing. Sock is competing and Sock is not without chances. That was clear. He knows what to do. He knows the win conditions. But this was too powerful of a harass. Way too powerful of a harass. Tech a little bit too late. Then the Archmage got hurt very, very quickly, too. And yeah, that Mountain King Misrally, that uh, was quite a bit of a mistake. Little indecisive. Would really love to see how this game goes if he goes double Rex Rifles. Yeah, Rain of Fire Nova is still super powerful and can take them out. And Coils, of course, can still take them out quickly. But then you have at least some anti-air, huh? And that was even without a Lich first. And Lich first looked a lot more powerful. A lot of resources went into towers, of course, as well. But I think that was necessary at that stage, once he decided to go for air, at least. Wonder if you should go for an Arcane Tower first. Instead of Town Hall first. Because then all the skeletons are relatively easy to deal with. But yeah, Concealed. The biggest thing here to me is... How is Conceal uh, Concealed Hill still played for human? There is... Probably some good human players. I understand that Turtle Rock is even worse. So Turtle Rock is a bad. But is it really not possible to play any other map than Concealed Hill? Davy Jones, thank you for the tier 1 sub, 16 months, much love! As we're waiting for uh, one of the observers to give us the red color. Just gotta play Pala Rifle and play. Um, Sock played Pala Rifle and it didn't look too bad.
So no one can tell me... No one can tell me why we play Concealed Hill as human. I don't get it. I don't get it against Night Elf. I don't get it against Undead. Hello from Ukraine, thanks for your support. Oh, I don't necessarily do enough, but uh, shout out, say, stay strong over there. <coughs> Glad you can enjoy this. So, map number two then. Match points for Happy, he's the only undefeated player in this tournament, didn't drop a single map. Let's see what Sock can do. Or Northern Isles. Maybe Sock wants maps where Happy cannot easily Lich Fast expansion. AZ is not much better. I think AZ... Ah. Okay, Snack, you got a point that AZ is not much better. But is AZ really impossible? Because I really think CH is impossible. Okay, sock bottom left, Archmage, and Expo probably. Happy on the other side. Is it a Lich this time or is it again DK Ghouls? Lich it is. Okay. Good luck, sock. It feels unstoppable at this point. Did anyone survive Happy's Lich first for a long time? Why is Happy second in the ELO ranking? Cause one two zero defeated him not too long ago. It's a it's a tough situation, by the way. Um, the winner of this group is facing Lin in the semi-final. The runner-up of this group is facing 1-2-0 in the semi-final. <laughs> this final four is so insane. And this looks like a Lich expansion. Snack, you were right. No instant aggression. Just clean up the natural just as the human does. Ring of Region, not too shabby, I think. Ring of Region on the other side as well. Probably even better for the Lich, because he gets chi he gets chip damage the entire time, or should get chip damage the entire time, and then he can stay there a little longer. So, oh, he mismanaged the resources, has to wait a little bit for more Lumber. And Sock again, counter-aggression. This seems to be the new game plan. From almost all humans. Thank you, Rakto, for the host. Actually, reversed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True. Lin was the winner in group A, so he faces the runner up. And the winner of the group phase 1 to 0. Yes, true. So, counter aggression already successful. Undead expansion stopped. But he sees the Lich moving over. And with his resources being a little mismanaged. Or the lumber intake being too slow. That's no expansion for Sock either. But Happy made his way all the way across the map. Got the cancel, basically. Uh, but now has to move all the way back while Sock is already doing some damage. That's, of course, the downside of a Lich first build. You don't have a coil. Footman attention split to several ghouls, but I think he's not getting a single one, unfortunately. As Happy's micro is, of course, very good. And he invested already into double Narub Tower. That helps with the micro, of course. A player's forces are and Happy left a single skeleton here. Sends the militia back again. So, he showed the militia. Gave Happy that information. Retreats again. And now... Oh, that's... That's late. 
Oh, Fishy, thank you for the 20 months resub. Hope you're doing good, mate. Greetings to the lady and to the doggy. Weird situation where both players really want to expand, but they won't let each other expand. Soccer still lost, running peasants back and forth. I think it's baiting happy to send ghouls and lich try to find an opening into the base. I don't think he's lost at all. As long as there's no tech, and as long as there's no level 3, this is kind of fine. Constant scouting. Love it. Will they finally allow each other to expand? Ghouls are coming over now, though. Boots are under to be able to run away. Oh, footman, can you take that trade with Militia? Thank you, Gary8810, for the 18-month resub. Another stream, another month. Subscribe. Keep doing great things. On a daily basis, my friend. So Happy, going for expansion himself. Nova used, Footman lost and slowly but steady. That XP advantage is noticeable. Sock finally gets the last hit. It's so easy to crumble under the Lich pressure after the f four minutes, five minutes. Sock's doing well so far. Also getting it. Oh no, you can't lose the tower. Expo up. Now mass repair. Should keep the arcane up. Needs reinforcements. That's why the Archmage and the Footman go home. New militia called. Again, so expensive. Happy's lumber is, of course, thanks to having so many ghouls, a lot better, and so his tech will be a lot faster. Sounding better and better each day, Neo. That's the process of healing. It's magnificent, isn't it? So we have an arcane up. Problem is, level 3 lich. Ah, uh, Sokka's trading. Has another water elemental soon. And Happy pulls back. For now, at least. Sock's tech shouldn't be too much later, I think. I just invested into a shop that cost him some lumber. Why arcane to deal with skeletons and burn mana if possible. Sock still holding on. Here's the tech. 7 minute 30, but only slightly behind happy. It's not too bad, but it's still two base, two base, when you originally want the one base advantage. A player's forces are under attack. And the Archmage is, of course, still up a level. Uh, down a level. Double Crypt, transition into Fiends. But Happy is taking a rather slow approach. Doesn't want to brute force anything. And this is definitely better than before. The game before. I mean, CH was pretty much a disaster with this good recovery. But Happy's economy is still so strong. Two towers here. Probably soon to be two towers here. Yep, click the button immediately. Second shop as well. Not bad. Oh, this ward. That's so much vision. That covers him from being creep jacked here. He can easily take the shop and also sees whenever Sock is going for the lab creep. So, how viable is this? Sock facing the lower bracket. Happy could have a 6 0 run into the winner bracket final of the round of 8. Pretty impressive. His opponent there would be Colorful or Moon. Rune Brace is not bad at all. Would have loved to see this on the Archmage. Yes, I'm a little biased. A player's forces are under attack. 
Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Good information. Footman constantly scouts. Sees the progress. Tier 3 started. Oh, and that ward. Gives away so much information, but Happy is on the opposite side of the map, so that doesn't help too much. First damage boosting item. Oh, the ward gives away the separate Zeppelin play! You could probably never see this coming if not for the ward. And here's the Lich, and here's the Nova, and oh my god. Insane. How much value this sentry ward had. So sad. What a cool play by Sock. Having the Shredder here. Imagine this push with the Sapper when the two towers are not here. So this is at most a couple of Acolytes and a bit of mining time. But Happy of course pulls the Acolyte. Ah, he gets the kill but loses all his footmen again. Covers time for tier 3. This was one Acolyte, wasn't it? MVP. MVP Sentry Ward. The Sock is trying to put pressure onto both of the bases, but they're all very covered. It's only the Shredder that really does damage. But he finds time to go for the Aviaries again. Mountain King second will probably not be sniped this time. Triple Aviary. And keeps the Lich away from level 5 for now at least. Did I say Sapper and the Zeppelin? Shredder, I mean. Yeah, yeah, Checky pointing out my one mistake. <laughs> but yeah, Sapper's first happy. It feels like he has a sixth sense against them. Oops. Oh, wake us up the creeps. So there's a little bit of bloodlust and basically creep jacks here. Okay, tier 3 tech done for happy. Time for Lich, time for destroyers. But it's still not a single fiend. And this is why mass air might work. Mountain King arrives. The value of shredders in this matchup is quite magnificent. A lot. Oh, surrounded the Mountain King, but there's a way out. It's quite magnificent. Lasted here, scroll of the beast. As it is, it's quite distracting. Oh, will you burn? I guess he will. Yikes! That's a Nova, isn't it? Whew. Happy a little slow here. Could have Nova and killed the Mountain King, pretty sure. And now comes Griffins and Pally. Dreadlord third. Okay. Nova, Carrion, Swarm, Vamp, or our Heal Scrolls against Griffins. Happy is creeping up a storm, close to 5-3. Seeing a Dreadlord, Dreadlord Garks in, in, in this matchup. Was there any contested camp that Happy didn't get? Mana stone! As if you don't have enough mana as undead, huh? Okay, levels are abysmal for Sock. He unfolded the tier 3. Supply is still even though. It's triple crypt. Ghouls and Garks against human. Against five towers. Is the Griffin army ready? Frenzy Ghouls again ravaging. Sleep first, actually. That's something I didn't expect. Suck continues to creep. Gives up the base integrity. And trying to find a counter and trying to find level 3. Somehow, somewhere. It's of course a downside of gargoyles. They die pretty quickly. 
two especially guard towers, especially when there's five. And Sock knows now that there is gargoyles. This must be a TP. This must be a TP, no? Happy is so much faster. Too late, I guess. One expensive griffin down. Maybe trade it for one garg, if even? That was expensive. With that, Happy wins the red spot. So... What is the great solution against Gargs now? I think you have to switch to Gyros. And that's exactly what's happening. Level 2 Holy Light, crucial. Scroll of the Beast can make an impact. But Happy is looking stellar. It feels like he can play whatever he wants now. These days. A player's forces are under attack. And I guess it doesn't even really matter what race he plays. Warsong Battle Drums. Attack upgrades coming too. It's quite expensive. But 333 three, three heroes up. But also 70 supply. 532. That XP chart is just it's just insane. Gyros don't have flak cannons, and that's what makes them so strong. Suck still creeping. A player's forces are under attack. And now we got more AoE. Um How do you stop this? Flak cannon's almost ready, but it's only two. In the meantime, creeping is so slow because, of course, this Magnetor Reaver is magic immune. Oh no, he steals it, doesn't he? 502. Okay, he got it. At least. There's a town portal, gotta get out, but yeah, that didn't work at all. Happy again, being the anomaly that he is. There was no chance for Sock. At all. After the ward identified the Zeppelin Shredder Sapper push. Unfortunate because I think the game plans were good. The execution was decent, but if Happy just overwhelms you with ghouls. Sick. He's so sick in this matchup. So um Happy in the winner's final. He will face either Moon or Colorful. Little anticlimactic, of course. But yeah, it felt like Sock was really broken after that failed attempt. Um, happy in the winner bracket. And he will face either Moon or Colorful. I want to see how he plays against Moon these days. Last time they met in the show match, it was just a stomp. Colorful? Won two maps against him in Night Elf for a Sun Dead, so Emperor may be out for revenge. Night Elf Mirror coming up next.